Hi guys, welcome back. It's early morning out here in the farm and I've got a brand new gun that I've received yesterday from FX. Something that I was waiting for for a long time now and I only got it yesterday. So I'm super excited to try it out this morning here on the farm. I've got my camera balanced on a little tripod without an adapter. So I'm going to keep the intro sweet and short. Um, let me take you to the back quickly and show you what I'm going to test today. So I've clipped open the case already because it's a two-handed operation. I only got two hands and I can't hold the camera and open everything up. And I'm just going to show you guys quickly inside. There you go. FX Wildcat Mark III Sniper Edition. So this is the one with a 700mm barrel. Uh, inside there's a little filling adapter that you get with it. And there is a nice little manual which you can read if you want to. And then I've got my Tanto from Donny FL that I'm going to use for today's silencing on my gun. And as you guys can see my Element Helix scope. I already did the turret tape and the ballistic calculations. And I've got my sports match rings on top there basically holding it down. So let's get shooting. Let's get started. So my friend Bernard just came to join me. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And he brought his little baby impact with. Show us. Boom. Nice. Tell us a little uh, bit more about this gun. Like, okay, I've got the 480cc cylinder at the front, carbon fiber, like a light. A 380mm uh, barrel inside and this thing is spot on. The what? Athlon Midas tax scope on top, side shot GoPro system, Whew. Sabre Tactical bag rider at the bottom. Yeah, this thing is just unbelievable. Tell us what, uh, what ammo are you using? Running the 26 grains javelins at the moment and it's incredibly accurate. Speed? Speed at the moment, not sure yet to be honest, but it's <laughs> Seems to be like 93 yards. Let's see. Dead. Look at that, next to each other. Oh, <laughs> nice. He's down. Awesome stuff, straight down.
So quick features on the Mark III. What is new? Obviously starting from the back is the power adjuster. There's a new power adjuster that you can adjust the power. Um, small little increments. There's this little set screw in there that you can basically use to do fine tuning on the hammer. Um, then if you swivel it around, there is a regulator gauge that's also new to this edition. Um, the magazine is now a side shot 18 round magazine which is also an upgrade from the 8 shot magazine that you had previous before this and then inside the gun FX did up the power levels on the gun so you will have much more power on the Mark 3 Wildcat then on this gun you won't see it but the new Wildcat Mark 3 comes out with a Pecatini rail instead of a dovetail this one still have the old rail on it but all the Mark 3 Wildcat the new ones has got a Pecatini rail on top which is awesome I must be honest um, this is my second Wildcat that I basically own myself and I can tell you guys I am becoming a huge huge fan at the moment because this gun is going to be something that I'm going to keep close to me for a very long time Okay, I've got a gong out there 123 yards and I've got a very strong side wind. I'm gonna keep 1.5 mils I'm gonna keep for the wind. The hit. It's a hit. Oh, that's a miss. That's a miss, but I can feel the wind is gusting. So it's shooting a little bit more. I'm going to see if I can keep it there. Just give me a bit there. That's a miss. Here we go, I'm back on target. There we go. There we go. Nice. That's a lot of holdover for wind, but you gotta keep in mind it's 123 yards and there is quite a bit of gusts coming around. 23 grain javelin slugs out of a 700 millimeter slug liner and the slug liners is just supreme the accuracy is spot on and the javelin slugs perform very well in the wind and like I said you, you got to remember this is 23 grain slugs and the wind is easy about 10 miles an hour at the moment so yeah there you have it on camera I mean this is raw footage Okay, so me and Roos decided we're gonna take a quick walk and see if we can get lucky. Now usually Egyptian geese are very alert, like you guys know, like I said before. So uh, we're gonna see if we can stalk them. Um, the wind is not that bad, so I think we might get lucky. And if we get a decent spot where we can hide away, um, I'm pretty sure we will be able to knock down a couple of them. So let's see, we're gonna take the two guns and then 
take a walk quickly. Dead. 97 yards. That was an awesome shot. I must admit, I'm very impressed with this gun. And I must admit that the 23 grain slugs at 980 feet per second had that much effect on that goose. Um, you know, I've been shooting for a very long time, for many years. But it's the first time I see a goose flip upside down like that and literally floating with his legs in the air. So I'm just waiting for the wind now to push him out to the side and then we'll go collect him. Very happy. Look at that. Perfect shot. You can see a little blood trail here from the neck side. That means it's run about into the neck. And that's why this goose just flipped upside down. Beautiful animal. It's got a very nice colors to it. I'm just going to show you quickly here like this. Hope the camera picks up that. Really beautiful bird and they do cook up nicely. Uh, there's a little bit of a trick with the cooking side of it but like I promised I'm still going to show you how to cook these up proper. So very happy with that. Happy with the wildcat. We're going to take the goose and we're going to take a walk back to the truck now. Well guys that is all that we're going to have time for today. Me and uh, Roos needs to get back to our day jobs. I need to get back to Patriot. I've got a lot of work to do there still um, And it is around midday now and I see it's becoming very quiet. So yeah, thanks for tagging along this morning It was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this little insert for the Wildcat Mark III uh, First impressions and the first little bit of shooting I've done with it. So look forward you can guys can look at uh, Air Hunters as well I will be shooting it on that channel as well to come. So thanks for joining us and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.